So we're, as I'm piloting now, we're fully manual on here. I'm, yeah, you we're know, fully I'm manual. The rate, but we've got the rate control on here yeah, as so well. Yeah, we've got our feed rate control. So if we press that top so button. So if we engage that. It'll now think about what, it'll firstly look at our losses. Right. It'll see what that's doing. If our losses aren't where we want it, it'll t talk to Harvest Command to adjust that to a better level. And it'll then target an engine load of about 100, 105 percent. Right. As I said earlier, that's where we want our combine. We want it going away nicely, we want it at full capacity, and we want it nice and full so we've got lots of crop on crop threshing. That's it, and as it thins out here, just this little dip here, it's yeah. just picked its feet exactly. up now and she's off. Yeah, it's away. Okay. So as we get into this heavier bit, we'll see that it'll slow down a little bit. Yeah. It'll target that 100% engine load. And if it can't get to that, if there's something else limiting, it'll talk to the harvest command. So the harvest command is a brilliant system. It basically automates a lot of our settings. Yeah. So we set it how we want, and we communicate to it what we're looking at. So if we're happy with our losses, if we're happy with our straw, yeah. uh, if we're happy with our performance, if we're not happy with it, and it'll basically then go to the systems and adjust it. The only thing that it won't do is our concave, so we adjust that concave. Right. So it'll now speed the combine up once it's happy with its That's adjustments. That's it, so it's just backed off for that lump Yeah, there. for that lump as we got yeah. into that uh, bit of a dip. But let's say there's different strategies you can select, is Yeah, like exactly. either focus on, one focuses on sheer performance, get, get, get done. it done. Yeah. One focuses on, what, losses? Losses, and then and one focuses on fixed throughput. So if you've got a limiting factor, say for example a grain dryer or an elevator that maybe can only do a certain ton an hour, yeah. we can actually tell the combine we want this ton an hour, and it'll then uh, work to that limit. We can also tell it what kind of trashing conditions we want. So if it's hard trashing, medium trashing, easy trashing, or if we really want to look at our straw as well. Yeah, that's it. And those for those really experienced combine operators. Yeah. What What's the, sort of their reaction to a lot of this automation? Do they like it? Do, does it ease their workload? You know, like exactly. when you've done a full season on this, it's a lot of concentration. It, it is. So a lot of people are very worried that we sit into this and it just starts messing with everything and that you don't know where you're at with your, yeah. with your combine for all day. But it's actually quite a sophisticated system. So we go in, Normally what we do is we open up our field, we set our settings to where we think it is, we have a look at our losses, we have a look at our loss sensors, we have a look at the ground, we have a look at the straw, and we then set our ranges where we want to stay. 